we're just going over the experiences of recovery uh, with robotic knee replacement. So, Dave, it's been about a month. And, about and a month. Before we get into your recovery, tell us a little bit about the decision-making process that you went through to decide to have your knee fixed, because you lived with this for quite a while. About probably five to 10 years, I had pain in my knee that got worse and worse and worse. And then I had my knee looked at and it was diagnosed as osteoarthritis. And it got to be, I understand, bone on bone. And the pain got worse weekly. And because I've done a lot of sports, I, as you know, I did kickboxing, tennis, and jogging on the streets. And you know, that's not friendly yeah. to the knee yeah. for a young guy like me. Yeah. But the story is, I just couldn't take the pain anymore. And I did my research and I came up with you. And I want to thank you guys and your team has been perfect for me. And why you guys have been perfect is that I used to walk and people used to say, are you walking with a limp? And I go, no, I don't think so. Well, you know what? I was. And I don't know how you guys did it. I don't know technically what you did, but I don't have a limp anymore. I'm walking. I have no pain. I do in the soft tissue because it's only been a month. But um, my walking now, I feel more confident. I'm taking bigger strides. Okay. I feel like I could go back and do my sports, but I'm really not, I, I don't feel confident enough that I'm ready yet. But I'm jogging, I have physical therapy that's been helping me, I have my trainers. So I'm, I'm just thrilled and delighted. Uh, your staff and your people, the professionalism, my Bible here, my book, book. Yeah. answers literally in such an articulate, friendly, but uh, technical way has it had me, me feel confident when I went in. I felt like I knew what was going to happen. And I did before it happened. And then it happened just like you said it would. So I, I'm really thrilled and delighted with, with yeah. your services. It is so good to see you coming along. But go back and what were some of the the fears that you were dealing oh. with or the worries that you were dealing with oh. beforehand because that's a real yeah, thing it, it, before surgery it's all just a bunch of what ifs yeah. oh yeah what You're were you like, dealing with oh i'm like you know the unknown uh especially a young guy like me i i'm like do i really need this well i'm in pain duh and it's getting worse and worse and you gotta get a mindset you got to have confidence that you you guys have just only done a couple of these, I know. You're just starting. Yeah. But the experience that you've had, you have to get this pain relieved. You have to go for it. You have to suck it up and be brave and go, I'm doing this. Yeah. I'm doing this. I can't. My quality of life is suffering. Do you want to live the rest of your life? Maybe God for me, well, I have 5, 10, 20 years, whatever God says. But when I have what I have, if I have another year or two, I wanted a quality year. I want to travel, which takes movement, walking. And I'm walking better than I've walked in years and no pain. So if you are nervous about doing it, Call me. I'll tell you about it. Or just... <laughs> Let's see where you are. That's very well said. So it's been about uh, four weeks now. Yeah. Okay, four weeks. And the soft tissues are still healing, but that's good. Yeah. You go ahead and bend your knee. Yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah. And your knee will continue to improve. What tricks or um, what were some of the things that you found to be helpful to get you through this part of recovery, which is often the hardest part of knee replacement? Well... Again, I read my Bible, and then also you guys have been kind enough to give me physical therapy help where you've given me name referrals, you've given me a prescription, I go see them, they help me move it in directions to help me, and it's healing, 
and I'm on a bicycle, stationary bicycle. Yeah, that's good. I, the wonder drug is walking. You have walking. to walk. Yeah. You agree? Well, yeah. So the walking is not only gentle on the soft tissues, but it's so much about neuromuscular coordination, or the or the lay term is teaching the brain and the body how to work together with purposeful movement. And, and you only do that, you gotta earn that, and you just do it by doing lots of reps. You just gotta walk, and then those pathways are reestablished. Yeah. And then the knee feels, starts to feel like a part of you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so I'm doing my homework, you have to do it, it's part of the recovery. But think of Hawaii, we're going. Japan, we're gonna go now, I haven't been. I haven't been to uh, Hawaii in 10 years. Why? I had pain. But now uh, we have family in Montreal. Yeah. We're gonna go visit Good. them. Good. Requires walking. And that's the whole point of putting up with all of this. Yeah, exactly. Tell me about the pain, because pain is a big part of recovery. And oh, what did you right. find out uh, with pain after surgery? After or before? After. Oh, after. The pain is really weird. The pain I felt for years was gone. That was the bone-on-bone bone pain. That, right. that, that bone-on-bone bone pain, done. Okay. Gone. Good. But the soft tissue pain is there. I did need to take a drug that was administered in the hospital, and I did take it, and I started to wean myself off it because I, I really don't like the feeling, except it did help. And as I could tolerate and tolerate it more, I got off the pain Norco maybe in weaning myself off in a couple of weeks after leaving the hospital. Yeah, that's couple. perfect. So and tradition. I took, I took a leave. Yeah, that's and perfect. Advil once in a while. But so traditional knee replacement has been opiate heavy. Right. We've just been a lot of narcotics up to twelve weeks, but we're moving to this opiate free or opiate light protocol where we're trying to have people wean as soon as they can. Excellent. Just for well-being. Like exactly. Because, like, you know, I'm reading in the newspapers and everything how dangerous the opiates are. So that's why the hospital gave me, they want you to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable. And you've yeah. made me comfortable. Your anesthesiologist, the lady? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I had no pain during the surgery. Anyway, and after, it's just basically been the soft tissue and uh, the Norco I stopped taking, like I said, a couple weeks later. If I start to have pain a little, I'll take a leave or an Advil, but I'm trying to get off those too. So, and we live in an, in an owner's unit, in an apartment building. You walk in the front door, you have to go upstairs. Then you get in the unit and you have to go up more stairs to our library and everything. So we're stair heavy and I'm walking better and better up those stairs. The pain is less and less daily, it, the recovery. I'm icing per my notes and per yeah, your, that's I, a big part I'm of it. I'm elevating, yeah. I have used this stocking that compressed the area because there was a particular danger with me. I had suffered at one time uh, a blood clot and Dr. Yoon and his staff took particular precautions for me particularly because they know that sometimes the challenge in this surgery, which I understand is to make sure this blood flows, keeps going, keeps going. So right after, immediately after the surgery, um, I walked on the floor. Yeah, you gotta the keep the blood moving. Yeah, yeah, keep the blood moving. Yeah. And uh, on, on, on the bicycle, yeah. you know, walking, you gotta keep the blood moving. And like you said, if you're on an airplane, which I'm going to Hawaii, couldn't do it before. I mean, it could do it, but quality of being in Hawaii, you have to walk around. You have to get in the beach. You have to have a Mai Tai. You have to go up to the bar to get a mic. You have to walk up there. Yeah. So um, the deal is um, I have not experienced just, just I know right now that I'm my quality of my vacations, my life has been improved greatly. Um, it's one of the 
best decisions I made. And was I afraid? Yes. Everybody's afraid to have surgery. But um, the experience your team brought to the party and what you've done for me, yeah, thrilled and delighted. Well, so we're only one month into it. And one month. So we're just at the beginning. You got a couple more months to go for the rest of the soft tissue healing to mature. But yeah, we're so happy for you. Yeah. And, and thanks for doing this. This is how you pay oh, it forward. Yeah. <laughs> and if anyone would like to call me, yeah. you guys have my number. Or yeah. if anybody's afraid, I mean, I was too. I'll just tell you, yeah. it's the mindset. Just think positively. You're in great hands with this staff. I, every person that he has working with him, they do a specific thing and they really care in their heart that, that they help you and you're pain free. David, well, thank you for, for thank doing you that so for much. everybody else. Thanks so yes, much.